on a bridge I'm standing. Mm -hmm. Because you are on that bridge between the two cultures always. So it's hard to know where home is, but I do know that the Irish club, at the motivation, was a need to be together. Mm -hmm. And somehow we knew how to have fun together. Oh, yeah. And I think when we crossed into Manitoba, I suddenly thought, I'm home. How do we make a new place home? For my master's research at Carleton University, I interviewed 10 first-generation Irish immigrants who settled in Winnipeg, Manitoba. We discussed their lives in Ireland, their experience of settling in Canada, and how they think about their heritage. This Shirk-funded project focuses on three themes based on these interviews. Number one, what is the role of performance such as music, dance, and theater in their process of adjusting to a new space? I had no way to be Irish. I had no way to hang on to my culture. And so I started listening to traditional Irish music. I had heard some amazing stuff mm. my last couple of years in Ireland. I went, oh, that's neat stuff. But then left it. Yeah. And then went back to it when I was looking for Something. some cultural thing to hang my hat on. Yeah, last week we went to a party. Yeah. The 40th birthday for one of the Irish girls from the Irish club. Yeah. And by 12 o'clock we're all singing. Yeah. Everybody picks a different song and they'll sing it. Number two... What was it like to move from a small island to the Canadian prairies, and how does landscape relate to a sense of belonging to a certain nation? If I'm watching something on television and I see pictures of Ireland, initially in the 70s, I thought, oh my God, I want to be there. This is what I love. This is the landscape that I want to be in. And now it's, it's snow and mountains, and that's what does it for me now. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm Canadian. She was fascinated by the sky yeah. because the sky is just endless in, in her view. Whereas if you ever go to Ireland, it's like you could reach up and touch almost. Yeah. Number three, how do these individuals talk about Irish history and how is Ireland's troubled past remembered? So it's almost like your entire life has been displaced by the troubles and then you spend the rest of your life looking for that identity that you were never allowed to have. The uh, sense of... Uh, having been treated unfairly by sort of previous generations. Uh, I wouldn't say it was drummed into, uh, into me, but it was, uh, it was as most. While every immigrant's story is different, and challenges will vary from group to group, these themes are not unique to Irish Canadians. The experiences described here are shared by many newcomers. As a part of my thesis project, I am creating online exhibits that will be accessible to the public and will share these stories to foster a sense of common understanding among all Canadians, both old and new.